dinner. Huh? You know, it's the it's not the most important meal of the day. No. But it's not bad. Right. Do I have potato in my teeth? It's hard to tell wh where the tooth ends and the potato begins. Can you do me a big favor? Yeah. Pass the bucket of gravy over here. This hey, is... hey, Ben, let me ask you something. Have you... Yeah. Remember my, that, my old woolen sack tape recorder that used to be set up in the living room when you were little? A reel-to-reel -reel machine. Hmm. I used to record songs in it. Have, you know, have you seen it around? I haven't. I don't even remember it. You're kidding me. No. You What's it called? It's, it's a, it's a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Right, I know what those are. Yeah, it's a Wallen sack. That's the brand name. You probably lost it. Well, I'm just afraid you that it's it. buried under a, a ton of stuff in the basement in our locker, you know, in our little area down there. Well, you should go down and check it out. I have this song kicking around in my head, you know, and, and I remember... Oh, Dad. I remember recording a million great songs on that machine, and I was thinking it would be yeah. fun to set up a little home studio here. Dad, that's not a good idea, you know? And... I was thinking that you could actually play the role of my producer in this. Really? Yeah. It's enticing. I mean, if you could write something for uh, for Broadway, you know I'm on board. You have free reign if you can find that machine. Is it going to require a lot of time commitment? Because uh, I have a lot of time. Can I sing one line of it for you? Just one, yeah. Okay. It goes, I'm left out, mm -hmm. but I'm not new. But I'm what? But I'm not new. It sounds like Hebrew a little bit, doesn't it? But I'm not new? That's the one that's been kicking around in your head? Well, you know, it's about this feeling I felt when I started graduate school. Can you change it? You can't change your feeling, Ben. Then just change the line. You're already losing half the audience right out of the gate. See, the, so that's what I... Because, th actually, you, anybody, you know, you think, wait, about, wait, think about the... Wait, raise your hand. No, you raise. shut up! Laura? What? Uh, do you have a uh, key to the men's room? No. Oh. Laura? What? Does Dr. Katz have a key to the men's room? No. Oh! What are you doing, you animal? Why don't you use the bathroom like everyone else? Because I didn't know how to get the key? You don't need a key. Oh. Now I remember. Oh, yes, doctor, I'm coming. Didn't you hear him? He said, next patient. Did you hear him? I'm coming, Dr. Katz. Well, we should continue our little conversation at some other time. Perhaps over a nice, uh, delicious beverage. I don't know. I, I saw where this woman was uh, suing McDonald's because uh, she found a, a condom in her Big Mac or something, you know. Okay, she should get some money because that's pretty gross, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's not their fault that she choked on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if I'm eating something and there's a hair in it, I'm going to stop. You right. know, I'm going to go, ugh, ugh. But she's sitting there just going to town on this thing. Is there, like, pickle in, like, a little packet or something? Hi, hi Laura. I'm a little early, right? Yeah. You know why? Why? I took the bus. This is nuts. Wait, that's not the nutty part. While it was in motion, I talked to the driver. You're not supposed to do that. I know. It took a lot of innocent people down with me. Mm -hmm. Not just me I'm self-destructive with. How are things, Fred? Things could be worse. Yeah. That's what people say when they point to me in the street. Um, no, no, people bother me about being thin. They're always going, oh, you're so skinny, I could put my hand around your arm. No, you can't. Why? Because get out of here, you know? Yeah. They tell me I'm thin like I don't know. You know, they go, how much do you weigh? I have to tell them so they can go, oh, God. Do you go to someone who's bald and go, what's the circumference of your head? I, I met this girl, and we went back to my place. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, one thing led to nothing. And, you know, and, and she goes, no sex, we're just going to sleep, we'll be friends. Yeah. What friends do that? I played basketball with my friend the other day and say, what do you want to do now? Let's take a nap together. <laughs> I wouldn't go looking, digging through your past, Dad, to find... That's... That, I'm you know, just saying, that's a dangerous thing to do. You, you to, go to, back, you pull out the old tape recorder, you, you, you pretend that you can, you can write and record songs. I mean, it's, it's, it's a dream that you shouldn't pursue. I'm well, just saying, you, you're going to get hurt by me. You know, I gave, the, I gave up the dream when your mother became pregnant. What are you trying to say, Dad? Saying you ruined my life. <laughs> okay.
Ben, are you down there? Ow! I'm here. You okay? Ah, God. Let me toss you down the flashlight. Don't Hang toss on. anything down. Here it comes. Don't. Ow! Oh, Jesus, Dad, I'm that's sorry. why, because it's dark here. I should have turned it on first. Right, you got me in the cheek. I think there were some batteries down there for it. Oh, why don't you throw those down now, Dad? The, the thing is that nobody goes down there anymore. Why? It's so great down here. It's nice and moldy. Yeah. And wet. Oh, here's the, uh... Hey, Dad, I found the old golf clubs Uncle Joe gave me. We don't have an Uncle Joe. Oh, maybe I'm in the wrong. Yeah, you've strayed. Whoa, 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 Dad. What's that? There's a picture of you and your when you were in the Army. Is this you? You weren't in the Korean War, were you? Dad, I gotta go, I think, uh, but good luck. Dad, don't leave me down here. Stay in touch. Don't shut the... Dad! Don't shut the... Dad! Dad, I'm scared! <laughs> Dad? Ben? Dad, how'd you get here? I closed the door behind me. Oh, my God. Am I going to leave my, my only son down there alone? Yeah, I appreciate it. Get that. in the trunk. Give me a hug. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hi. I, uh, did I miss the appointment? No. Oh, good, 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 good. No, it's tomorrow. Oh, oh, I, I guess I, I just can't keep my life in order. You know what I mean? Like those bad boys on Geraldo, that the women, you go, why are you with this guy? Do you think I, I'm, I'm gritty? Am I more like a Jeff Bridges or a Nick Nolte? Mm, which one of them is taller? Uh, I don't know, but I didn't shave. That's gritty. Nick Nolte. All right. So I have to make a determination <laughs> yeah. exactly what I'm going to do here. Well, Maybe you, you can steer me in. Well, you know what we could use actually is a cable for the mic? Yes, I'm not sure. But and also, I could use a music stand yeah. for, to hold the lyrics. And... Like, I'll get all that stuff. I, I, I got no problem there. It's just that, you know how uncomfortable I am talking to salespeople? They, yeah. I don't want to uh, get in that situation where... Well, because you always li you like to sound like you know what you're talking about, when in fact, yeah. they're perfectly glad to talk you through it. Yeah, just don't try to impress anybody. I don't want the guy to talk me into stuff I don't need. Well, <laughs> let's, let's do a little role-playing here. I'll be the salesperson. Okay. What can I do for you, young man? Um, I need some equipment. One We're setting up a home studio. Oh, you're going to need one of everything, and the latest, I think, is what I'll take need. it. Okay. That worked out okay. Yeah, see, I panicked. Yeah. Okay, now let me be let me be a different sales guy. Okay. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what kind of sales guy are you? <laughs> a little sleazy. <laughs> I like this role-playing stuff. Joan Rivers here to see Dr. Katz. I'm sorry, but you really can't bring that animal in here. Pardon me? This is not an animal. This is my friend. Eleven and a half years. <sighs> this is my friend. Ms. Rivers, it's not the dog we don't want. It's the hairdo. It's cruel. My daughter and I are close, thank God. We're almost like mother and daughter. Very, very close. That's sweet. Get off the couch, Spike. The birth was terrible. I was in labor 108 days, and it was just... Well, that, that, was a, that was a long time ago, John. That was 24 years ago. You don't forget. Mm -hmm. You don't forget. A woman, and they always lie to you when you're pregnant. They say, never more beautiful, you're glowing. Heartburn. I carried, I carried so big. I, and also, I carried very low, doctor. You mm -hmm. know, that was one of the problems. Melissa's feet were hanging out the last three months. Dr. Katz's office. Laura? Laura? Laura, you there? Yeah. It's Ben. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? What's that? What do you want? Say it again. I, I can't really, I can't hear you that well. I'm in the, uh, I'm at the music store and the guys are jamming here. Guys, seriously, keep it down. What? And, uh, so I could go at any time here because I, I might have to sit in. You know, I'll tell you something. The music store, Laura, is fantastic. I mean, the people here, it's like a, it's like a commune. They play it loud, they play it proud. You know, they stop playing. I don't have to keep talking loud. But I will, you know. Laura, you there? I knew nothing. First of all, when they show you the baby, I mean, my daughter Melissa was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, you know what it really goes back to? It doesn't even go back to Melissa. It goes further back. It goes back, um, I wasn't wanted. Do you know what that's like to start out that way? My parents didn't want me. They didn't take me out of the hospital till I was nine and a half years old. That's unforgivable. It was just, uh, it was difficult. And you don't forget. You don't forget these hurts. You shouldn't. You shouldn't forget. I don't mean to cry. I'm so Spike. Not now. Dad. 
What's up, Ben? Dad, I can barely hear you. Bad connection? No, I'm at the music store, and someone's playing the triangle in my ear. Why don't you call me later? Okay, Dad, it's quiet now. What'd you say? I, I said call me later. No, it's all right. Okay. I made a list. I'm checking it twice. I got a microphone. Oh, good. And uh, it's, a, it's a great one. We need the microphone. We just don't need the best microphone in the world. Well, I, I don't know if it's the best one. Yeah. I mean, it's the most expensive. Yeah. You come by here a lot, right, Dad? Yeah, every once in a while I get a new accent, you know. Get a what? A new axe. What does that mean? A new uh, guitar. That's... Oh, that's what they call a guitar. That's what musicians refer to their instruments as their axes. Guitar axes. Right. And it's not just in music that this kind of stuff happens. No, there's every every business has its own. Has its own yeah. Yeah. Like lumberjacks mm -hmm. call their uh, instruments. Axes. Right. <laughs> My kids are in a private school, and I don't know, all the schools my kids have been in, It's most of the parents are out-of-work sitcom actors, you know? You know, it's a very strange place for a kid to grow up. So we're sitting there, and they're going, let's do a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Not because the school needed any more cash. It's because they all wanted to get back on the stage and hit the boards again, you know? They all wanted to perform. Hey, let's do Les Mis. Oh, that would be... Exciting, Chachi. That's a great idea. So I'm sitting there and they go, Bob, do you have any fundraising ideas? And I said, why don't we sell crack? Hmm. And then uh, then the PDA bummed out. Uh, and I'm like, hey, not the art kids. Your bill is past due. Could you pay today? Uh, look, it, I don't have a problem with paying. And I like the idea of paying. Um, and uh, you're looking at me saying I don't have any money. I know that. <sighs> I don't think you're qualified to judge me, though. I, uh, I have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Just not on me. Okay. And, uh, they don't let me have a checking account anymore. You know, you make one mistake. You go out and buy 30,000, 40,000 Chia Pets on an impulse. Suddenly, oh, Bob can't have an account. Bob can't be trusted with credit cards. We just had kittens. Hmm. You know, nothing, nothing could help settle up a payment. Faster than a delicious kitten. That's disgusting. I didn't mean eat it. I'm just talking about, like, licking it. Oh, shut up. When I was a kid, this was the worst experience. I took a cross-country trip with my mother and father. Right. Severe torture. I mean, the whole trip, my mother's so annoying. I mean, I'm eating a Hershey bar. She freaks out. She goes, where did you get that? Where did I get it? Like, I'm a junkie. And my connection set me up in Minneapolis. You know, I'm going to be in Seattle in five hours. You got some chunkies? What is that? Hey, what, what, you, what this is just, I, I've just been... Uh, You're bringing your well, machine I've gun? Been, no, I'm bringing my, my guitar to work these days just because I'm working on a song. Oh, so you're back to songwriting again. Well, actually, you know, I never really left it, but I'm just curious what you guys think. Can I hear it? But just it's a work in progress, so... Okay. So, and and my, my big fear is that I'm rewriting someone else's melody. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, we'll, so we'll think about it. Okay. Oh, say can... <laughs> no, no, hey, I'm kidding about that. I'm kidding about that. Just change it but to no, no. some other... Okay, yeah. No, it's this, this is how it goes. It goes, uh... <clears throat> Left out But I'm not new This doesn't seem Too fast yes. You wrote that? Yep. Guy, I have chills. I want to start crying. I'm almost done. All right. <laughs> I've got to think this through. Oh boy. <clears throat> then, then this is a chord that I recently learned from a friend of mine. Ooh. That's S pretty. The C minor diminished seventh. I like the song. I think it's really good. You have a nice you know, voice. Uh, Paul McCartney once referred to Brian Wilson as a musical genius. Yeah. And that, that same year, Bob Dylan called Smokey Robinson America's greatest living poet. What's your point, Stanley? Uh, that I know stuff. <laughs> Ben, can you shut the TV off, please? What? I said shut off the TV. You shut up and be free. No, Ben, ben I asked you to shut off the TV. Oh, sorry, Dad.
Looks like like we're in a recording yeah, studio. You, know, you got everything here. It's what's incredible is. Do you know I, how, do you know how to use this stuff? Listen to this, Dad. I okay. Mean, this is this is just one of the the amazing things. Lay it on me. I can talk like a robot. That's danger, great. Danger, danger, danger. Boy, that is. You've got some great stuff. Echo, 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 echo. Let's see. Help. I'm in the ravine. Let me hear just a quick note. I just want to. Okay. Get that. Um. This this is the. Let me. I just gotta get a level okay. check. Here. Okay, we should do a scratch track. Okay, you know, what what you need track. to do right now, Dad, is not talk until I. Okay. Until I say talk, because that's okay. gonna screw up my level check. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. You're so calling me, the shots. Oh, see, there you go again. I'm sorry. Man. Okay, come on, people, let's go here. All right. And it's just you and me. Exactly, me and you, baby. Huh? You ready? Yeah. All right. Wink, wink. Here we go. Okay. Four, three, two. One. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Yeah, I don't say two. I did this alone. It's just when you came in here, I I must I got nervous. Okay, here we go. This is gonna work. Okay. Are you all right? I'm with you. Do you, you feel okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Do you want some tea? Nope, I'm good. Things okay at home? <laughs> yeah, ben, come on. Are you ready to rock, Ben? Hello, Cleveland. All right, let's do this. Okay. okay. Who loves you, baby? Y- uh, y- I do. Look at me. Look you right here. You do. All right. And I'm recording. And five, four, three. Left out, but I'm not new. This doesn't seem too fair. I feel left out. Didn't used to. I've got to think this through. That sucked. So, how do you how do you feel about your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law, well, I, actually, actually, she's a very nice woman, and uh, I had to have her cremated. And uh, I cannot tell you, I flew all the way over to England because they were English, and I had her cremated. And uh, I was coming back on the plane, and then it hit me: maybe I should have waited till she was dead. But you know. You know, Doctor, I'm busy, and I had three days off, and I figured, let me do it now. And, you know, and she just wouldn't listen. And I kept saying, Helen, you've always said, Joan, I want to be cremated. Well, I have the time. I spent my own money on the ticket. I'm here. Let's just go through with it. As you get older, this death, the, the body goes. Mm-hmm. And my body, you know, just drops, 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 drops. I mean, I cannot tell you. I wear a bikini. People think I'm in a one-piece bathing suit. It's not pretty, Doctor. No, Joan, you you are an attractive woman. I don't know why you're so hard on well, yourself. Well, that's, uh, you know, Doctor, thank you very much, but that's whatever it is, it's due to plastic surgery. I just go in there. I don't even take anesthetic anymore. The only trouble is, you know, sometimes uh, they can pull you too tight. I mean, there a friend of mine, he pulled so... I mean, he just pulled her up. She wears her earrings on her ass. I'm just... You got to be careful. Sure. Got, oh, yeah. My thighs, oh, I never get in a bathing suit because I get in the bathing suit. I walk around, my thighs go, good for us, good for us, good for us. I was on a game show in Australia where I represented the United States. Yep. And I felt like I did a pretty good job. I uh, And when I was playing this woman, whenever the host wasn't looking at her or I, I'd slap her buzzer, mm-hmm. you know? And I think her name was like Sophie or something. And the host kept going, Sophie. And she goes, he keeps hitting my buzzer. And I go, oh, I, I do not. You know, if you're going to lose, just lose. Don't drag me into your nightmare. Duh. Bobcat, you know what the music means. Who, what does the music mean? Our time is up. What do you mean our time is up? Do you mean like in a big sense that I'm, I'm worm food? Just because you hear some songs, I'm dead? You're a sick little twisted man. You know what those sirens mean. I'm going to break you in half with my bare hands. Laura. She won't help you. She's in cahoots with me. 